Welcome, welcome to another session of Everyday Mathematics. Uh, today's problem is from the MIT 2024 Integration B, semi-final number one, uh, tie brackets uh, problems, problem number two, which is the definite integral from x tending to negative infinity to x tending to positive infinity of the hyperbolic second or uh, sec, um, of 2x plus 1 minus 1 over x minus 1 minus 2 over x plus 1. Now, this is a very, very interesting problem. Um, I kept this for the very last uh, because uh, it's interesting because it, it does demand a knowledge of uh, something beyond uh, the basics of calculus, and that's why I kept it for the very last. So, um, when we have this problem, uh, we are going to use what is called the Glasser's Master uh, Theorem, uh, which states that if you have A, AI, and BI that are real numbers, and then uh, we have an expression u which equals to the variable x minus uh, the real number a minus the summation of the absolute values of uh, a n uh, over x minus b n um, in fact i would like to convert this to i and this to i right and this is i so the index is i because we stated this to be i's right so if you have a summation of absolute values of a i uh, over x minus b i um, such that that summation starts from i equals to one to uh, n uh, it's capital n then the Cauchy principal value of the integral of a function uh, of f u um, equals to the principal value or the Cauchy principal value of the integral uh, of f x and that is from x and not here it's dx here it is not du so the expression u is just an encapsulation it's an abstraction of um of what would be within the function f and so if we have uh this expression here we can create an abstraction um such that we have hyperbolic second of two x plus a half minus a half over x minus one minus one over x plus one such that this here is our negative a and this here is our absolute value of a1 absolute value of a2 this here is b1 plus 1 is b2 so and this is exactly what we see here right um so it's an abstraction we we are trying to simplify the function under the integral sign such that it's more tractable. What that tells us is that the integral of the hyperbolic second of 2x plus 1 minus 1 over x minus 1 minus 2 over x plus 1, having uh, expressed it this way, is the same as uh, with the principal value uh, being taken into consideration, is the same as the hyperbolic second of, of, of 2x. That's from x tending to negative infinity to x tending to positive infinity. So 
Uh, second is obviously hyperbolic second is obviously uh, one over cosh two x or hyperbolic cosine two x, and uh, hyperbolic cosine two x is the same as uh, e to the power two x plus e to the power negative two x over two. Can flip uh, whatever is in the denominator of the denominator there, such that two comes up here. Um, and then since this is 1 over e to the power 2x by multiplying both the numerator and denominator by e to the power 2x, that results into the integral of 2 e to the power 2x over e to the power 4x plus 1. So if we let u to be equal to 2x, then the derivative of that du dx is the same as uh, 2 e to the power 2x and so du can be substituted for uh, 2 e to the power 2x dx. Now um, the limits here uh, using this as x tends to negative infinity u would tend to e to the power negative uh, infinity which is 0 so the law of uh, bound here would tend to zero, and the upper bound would still tend to positive infinity. So this integral here with the substitution is now can be equated to the integral from u equals to zero to u tending to positive infinity of d of one over u squared plus one. So this is a more um, doable problem now. Uh, the integral of one over u squared is the arctangent of u, so uh, with the limits applied appropriately, uh, as u tend to tends to positive infinity, the arctangent of u will tend to pi over 2. As u tends to 0, when u is equal to 0, the arctangent of u will be 0. So the answer uh, that we've been looking for is pi over 2. So um, the main um, thing that was required for this problem was knowledge of um, Glass's master theorem, uh, which is not really a basic um, theorem that you'd learn in uh, calculus uh, class. Uh, but uh, with that knowledge, it seemed very easy to now uh, transform the integral into a more tractable and solvable a problem. It was an absolute pleasure solving this problem. Um, until next time, uh, have a fantastic week ahead.